So here we're going to look at different operations of uh, how we can combine, you know, add, subtract, multiply complex numbers. The first one we're going to look at, look at is subtraction. So just normal, just like combining like terms, think of i as uh, like a variable like x or y, a or b. So we have this 3 minus 4i minus the quantity negative 2 plus 6i. So we can just distribute that negative out front. So 3 minus 4i plus 2 minus 6i. And this is equal to combined like terms. So we have the constant terms, the 3 and the 2, that's 5, minus the, so we have negative 4i and negative 6i. Those combine to negative 10i. And there we go. That's all there is to it. And then on the other one, for multiplication, uh, it's essentially just distributing. I know people like to use that FOIL term, so you can think of that if you'd like. But all it is is just distributing the values. So we distribute here, distribute the 3. So this is 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 times 6i is plus 18i. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8i. Negative 4i plus 6i is negative 24i squared. Equals, so let's combine like terms. Uh, negative 6, and we have 18i plus 8i, that is plus 26i. And now before I said to treat i like a variable like x or y or a or b, and that's good to do until we get to this point where we have i squared. Now remember how we define i squared. i isn't just any uh, variable, it means something. i squared, remember, is the, is the square root of negative 1 squared, which is negative 1. So i squared is negative 1 from that previous page here. So this is minus 24 times negative 1, which means this is positive 24. So this is negative 6 plus 24 is 18, and then plus 26i, which is very nice. And then the last one here, let's do another multiplication to see what the result is. So we have 2 plus 5i times 2 minus 5i. So distribute the 2 and distribute the 5i. And the result here, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 5i is negative 10i. 5i times 2 is plus 10i. 5i times negative 5i is negative 25i squared. And this is equal to, well, we have 4 minus 10i plus 10i. So we have a 10i, negative 10i, and a positive 10i. So those add to 0. And then this is actually negative 25 times negative 1, because i squared is negative 1. And so this is 4 plus 25, or just 29. So the result here is that there's no imaginary part. There's only a real part. So we have a real number result here. And so that is actually what happened here. The uh, imaginary part, I'll put in quotes, cancels. Or they add to zero. And this happens every time when we have something of this case where here this is 2 plus 5i. We're multiplying by 2 minus 5i. There's a special name for this. So if we have a plus bi and a minus bi, we say these are conjugates of each other. And when we multiply them together, the result is, so if we do a plus bi times a minus bi, and you could probably come up with this on your own just using, you know, distributing these out or using difference of squares, but the result at the end of the day is a squared plus b squared. And this right here is just a real number result. So looking at an example of this, we have 2 minus 3i. We're asked to find the conjugate and then find the product with the conjugate. So the conjugate is Two plus 3i. We just make the imaginary part negative. And then the product is 
So we're doing 2 minus 3i times 2 plus 3i. Now again, you could just distribute everything out, and then you'll get a real number result like we did up above. Or you could remember that the result here is always just going to be a squared plus b squared. So we have 2 squared plus 3 squared because the a is 2 and the 3 is b. And so this is 4 plus 9, which is 13. And there we go.